More positive news for you Tesla fans. I'm one of them, by the way. Tesla China saw sales of 54,400 units in October, which is up 348% year on year. But there's a bit more to this story. Hello, my friends. Welcome to The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you at uh, 2.14 a.m. on a Tuesday morning, up late, trying to bring you the news that matters. Thank you for tuning into the channel. Thank you for liking and subscribing to the channel. Thank you for commenting. And more than anything else, I want to know what you think about what I say. Is Tesla in China seeing a lot of demand? There's been different questions about this issue. Now, Tesla just exported about 95% of the cars that were EVs that left the country in October were Teslas. Why? Well, Basically, Gigafactory Berlin isn't running yet. Unfortunately, if you want an EV now and you're in Europe, you've got to buy one from either China or America. Now, of course, that's not really how it works. You just go to Tesla's website, log in, put some details in and bang, click pay and give Tesla some of your money and they'll send you a car. Now, CNEV Post reported that Tesla China's wholesale sales in October were 54,400 units up 348% year on year, and down about 3% from September, according to data released today by the China Passenger Car Association. Why are they down 3%? There's less working days in October versus September. There's five more working days in November versus there is in October. So I think you'll see an increase of probably, you know, maybe 7 to 10% in the actual number of vehicles that Tesla Shanghai build in November versus October. Tesla China reported 40,666 units in October, meaning it sold 13,725 vehicles in China, the CPCA data shows. Now, this is a bit misleading because apparently Tesla did a 0% finance deal. You could put down $0, sorry, not a 0% finance deal. I mean, you could put down $0 by a car and then pay it off at a pretty low interest rate. But this is the same sort of deal that's available from most Chinese companies. It's not something new to Tesla. They did this for three days and they had to stop the deal because there was too much demand. They realized that they're going to have the same problem that they have in America right now where customers have to wait up to a year to get a car and that's not good for business. So they stopped the deal and they've gone back to business as usual. So clearly there is a lot of demand right now in China for their cars. This is supported by fact. Let's be honest, it's realistic. It's believable that there's a lot of demand considering the fact that, well, Electric car sales have nearly tripled this year versus last year in China. What that means is in the month of October, 15% of all cars sold, of all cars sold, were fully electric. Same numbers as what we saw in September. It's insane. Absolutely unbelievable data here. We're seeing, we see another doubling again next year. Well, actually, we've seen nearly a tripling this year. So if the market slows down and only doubles next year, we're going to see 30% of all cars sold in China in 2022 become electric cars. As you can see, the market is transitioning much faster than anyone has predicted. Now, China's October wholesale sales of new energy passenger vehicles year on year and up 6.3% from September. But of that number, 303,000 were fully electric vehicles and only 65,000 were BEVs or plug-in hybrids. Most of those actually came from BYD, nearly 40,000. Now, in October... Tesla saw its 1,000th supercharger station in the Chinese mainland, a local data center, and the opening of a new large delivery center in Shanghai. In addition to that, Tesla have actually opened a new manufacturing facility in Canada, making the machines to build batteries. Now, on October 25, Tesla shares jumped 12.7% to $1,024 US dollars, giving it a market cap of over $1 trillion, making it the first US car company with a market cap of more than $1 trillion, meaning it's worth four times more than Toyota. Amazing stuff. Hope you own some shares in Tesla and you've been able to profit from this. They're now up at even higher. They're up to about $1,200 about $1, US dollars at the time that I made this video on the 10th of November. Now, 
Tesla CEO Elon Musk launched a poll on Twitter over the weekend to let internet users decide whether he should sell 10% of his Tesla shares, which would be, I think, about $30 billion, saying he would abide by the result. That poll has shown that the results are that most want Musk to sell his shares and then pay taxes on that. Now, as of reporting this video, Tesla shares went down a couple of percent, maybe because Musk is going to sell. I don't know. What do you think about Musk selling? Do you think he should sell 10% of his Tesla shares or do you think he should keep them? I'm intrigued to know what you think. Put it in the comment section below. Let's have a vote on this. Let's see what you guys all think together. All of you I know are very intelligent people, not afraid of change. Not afraid to embrace the future and that's why you're here watching this channel thank you for going on this journey with me i really appreciate it fantastic to see you once again have an awesome day and i'll see you again on the next video bye bye